Alright, so the world card. This is Saturn. Saturn energy. The world card also, just to point out, they have the four energies of fixed signs in there, which is very, very similar to what's going on here. Only these ones are winged and have books. This is just their heads, okay? So what that represents here is the fixed signs are very important. So in your world, in your life, everyone needs a fixed sign somewhere in their life. Because the, not that the fixed sign doesn't move, they do. They have a spectrum though, and they only move so far in that spectrum, which keeps everything in, in alignment. So it's really important for you to have that type of energy around you. So with that energy, and your energy, you wield together sort of the baton. See the batons in her hand? Um, that's kind of like, you know, taking everything you're learning, taking everything you are, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're learning, your influences around you, and um, creating the you. So with the Saturn energy, we see, you know, boxes almost and carving out uh, the images of what we um, wish to be as a person, as a being in our lives. So Saturn energy is about rules and policies. It has similar energy to the Hierophant, but it isn't quite the Hierophant. Saturn, Saturn is more about, you know, policies at work and um, universal truths, you know, things that are going to happen when the rain comes down, gravity, all of these things are Saturn energies. They're Saturn is about rules, expectations, job descriptions, that type of a thing, right? So anybody who has Saturn energy, and Saturn is associated to the Capricorn, okay? So the Capricorn is about that. They like rules, they like things in boxes, they like organization. They're usually the most ambitious when they're getting out there because they have a lot of knowledge. That's what this is about. A lot of knowledge, a lot of... Uh, um, wisdom uh, and a lot of ambition to create things right and so that is the Saturn energy but if you think of Saturn and the seven rings around it what we have really is you know this consistent so once somebody picks up a way it's consistent they build on it but that's their personality for the rest of their life it's kind of like the same thing if you like animals when you're born you're always going to like them but when you get older you might be an advocate for them at first you just love them and you know walk the dog and 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 then you bought the dog and then you bred the dog and then you fought for the dog you know this type of a thing uh, maybe you're training the dog so it's a building of energy as we get to the world card the saturn energy is about taking Taking all that we are and creating a new self. So when we see Capricorn energy, that is what that's about. It's about always doing better and looking at self in order to do better always. Probably, it, it, and now I'll leave it at that. <laughs> no, I won't. It's actually what is possibly the Capricorn and the Scorpio are the two best lovers in the in the zodiac sign. Okay, just in case you didn't know. There you go.